I just see here they're attacking people around the world in this uh, cyber operations. They're remotely controlling and firing frequencies at people to make them attracted, like say a man. They're attracting them to be attracted to a, a child or whatever and sitting there watching and uh, doing all this shit. And these people are doing this and uh, saying it's for uh, SF-86 uh, research. Um, and they're sitting there laughing and making out and all that stuff. Um, know all their names and everything, so I'm wanting to go to D.C. to talk about this. Um, they're using the DARPA programs to make 52 million off people, putting, uh, doing the um, DARPA, like, uh, these programs is to uh, chart the neurological pathways using a, what you might call it, Charting your neurological pathways. Uh, they're remotely controlling everyone globally. Uh, that's what their ultimate goal is uh, with the cyber operations. Uh, military police told me to notify local law enforcement. Well, I can't no notify local law enforcement and anything like that. I mean, they can sit there and manipulate your entire body. That's what military police said. I'm sitting in near South Carolina again. I left California. They're remotely controlled. Um, they can remotely control the birds, the weather, and everything. Even ants and uh, people. They can fire a re uh, frequency at your uh, biometric field or whatever and turn on the attraction button, make you attracted to whatever they want. Man, woman's out or anything. And they're sitting there, people like David and, uh, what you call it, what's his name, Tom, and their superintendent, uh, James, they're sitting on a facility somewhere, and they got confidential clearances, and they've been flown in from all over. Um, they look at them with aerial platforms and this stuff, and they, they got access to secret com uh, component, access information component. They can look it up on the computer instantly. There's over 68 of them in the room. Uh, they they work in three shifts and then they sleep there. Some of them go to their, their dorms or quarters. They got people as high as a major sergeant and second lieutenants and colonels or whatever involved in this. And they're sitting there doing uh, some train. They're training them at the same time. They're doing exploitations with uh, DARPA and all this damn part, uh, products, charting the neurological uh, pathways. They got to show viable uh, pli viable e evidence. Uh, viewable pathways, uh, viewable pliable pathways of the neurological system to control the human mind. They're testing out a product and they want to sell it to SOCOM ultimately to get them, uh, for them to get some money for this, for their school. They want $52 million off of me. And now they're going around doing this to everyone all around the globe. And, um, some places they're sitting there saying, "If you say one word about this," and then that's all I that's all I know. That, I mean, they sit there and interfere, and they can fire frequencies that you make you uh, stutter and not talk and stuff. You can see uh, videos of me in like Facebook where I never really stuttered or anything like that. So when they're sitting there trying to cause me to. Uh, uh, stutter and all this and I've already posted all these videos all over the internet where I'm talking plain and clear I ain't got no blah, pro problems talking I mean they, they can sit there and do that I'm going to take a chance I don't know how it's going to turn out i got to leave near you they got these uh, aerial platforms all over my neighborhood Aerial platforms, uh, people in South Sa Saudi Sudan was shooting them down with uh, HK, AK-47s. And they're sitting there making uh, remote cyber operating uh, alligators and all these animals and stuff to eat people. And through like 35P military occupation specialty, 17C cyber operations and electronic warfare. And, um, I call military police. They, they remotely control FBI and all that stuff. You turn on the TV, you see a plausible way that it's possible. But when you turn it off, 
something happens to your reality. Your reality starts to exist in that damn TV if you don't uh, quit staring at it for long enough. If you get out here and see it for real, it's a whole different ball game. I can walk outside, and I, I've got videos and stuff showing all this. Well, the California protest in the system is corrupt. I found out how. They want to. Uh, Trump wants to target the legal system. No, it's not the legal system. It's the programs that's not been brought to his attention. Edward Snowden, the FISA abuses, the FISA abuses and all that stuff, being signed off on people. The one of the military that conducts their little tests and secret clearances or whatever, they use secret clearances. Uh, Department of Defense said they made bad contracting decisions on people and with their security clearances. They made bad contract decisions. And, um, uh, They uh, deployed aerial platforms. It's undetectable. BEA, BEA stealth radar avoidance technician uh, technology, and uh, these things that simulate like stars. They hang in the air, probably about uh, three thousand feet over my neighborhood right now. Well, they can fly them over anything, anyone from people to plants, animals, anything underneath them can be manipulated, including the light. They call it. Uh, Electro glow, or it's a static electromagnetic energy that changes the illumination visibility on the ground just before you ask for no light in the present. They're sitting there going around uh, doing directed energies with 17C cyber operations, special uh, cyber operations officers. And 17C um, cyber slash EW, where they got they got people with AK-47 firing at them all over the world. Everywhere I go, they lock in on my bioresonant frequency. Um, they say that I'm worth 52 million. Like they've been doing all kinds of things to people called TIs. TIs nationwide, targeted individuals, electronic harassment. They're sitting there. We had a global protest, and they went around disrupting it. Uh, Stephen, Daniel, and all them have been sitting there using, deploying these aerial platforms over to destroy and disrupt a peaceful protest. Uh, state of Chicago is completely under uh, remote control, a uh, PSYOP, or whatever you want to call it. They call it uh, in person, uh, the person uh, uh, spectrum or whatever. Um, I've looked up in public information, and now they're saying that I know too much. Well, no, it's public information. It's transparency with the government. They set up over my neighborhood, doing this to everybody. I got up out of my chair, and for two years now. Been trying to do things. I've called Homeland. I've called FBI. FBI said um, several agents. I've talked to one track the phone call straight to Florida, north, uh, northwest of Naples. 239-449-0577. Um, they, contact, they called that number and traced it to Naples, Florida. And they're sitting there doing this stuff to people in South Sudan. They flew aerial platforms over uh, Antarctica. They're sitting there and checking everything out. Then I may have looked at on YouTube. They can hack people's neurological system and manipulate the human nervous system through electromagnetic signals. Um, stuff they stole from the Germans. They're testing DARPA products as experimental air, aerial platforms. Um, they can fly them over military bases and uh, make them look like stars. And they're using DARPA 
uh, technology to make an uh, electromagnetic field to protect them from being hacked or some kind of DARPA products, uh, some, some kind of defense. And they've done this to NSA, they've done this to FBI, they've done this to everyone. Uh, FBI, they fly this stuff over to the FBI, disrupt the signals, and then hack in, do the human intelligence collector, 30, 31 mic, human intelligence collector, which collects actual EEGK uh, remote neural monitoring. It's called uh, remote neural uh, satellite terrorism is what they're officially called by the Department of Justice. They're called uh, terror cells, and they're going around globally doing this stuff to people. And these people, these girls on campus are actually dating these guys because they can't, they don't get to go out much. And they're actually, you know, the teachers and all them sitting there watching this and they're sitting there threatening the students say, that's having a problem with it. They're like, well, uh, do you want to join them? Sitting there watching them do all these horrible things to people. Sexual assault by uh, gravitic weapons or uh, electromagnetic magnetosphere bubbles is what they call them. Uh, electromagnetic fields and they got someone coating the signal to keep anything from tracking it and I've notified a each and every single command or whatever but what I didn't count on was an insider doing this they use non-conventional I responded with conventional at first, um, I contacted the uh, local authorities and stuff, like the government says, if you, you see suspicious crime or activity, report this uh, to the appropriate authorities. Well, I kept reporting it, to, and then they wouldn't do nothing, so I went a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, and then, okay, well, then I started learning the whole entire structure. And I started contacting committees that uh, regulate all these platforms all the way down to government structure. I wasn't really expecting these little area platforms to remotely control government officials, but they do. They fire the frequencies at them and make them dumb. They can let go of them, but they're hooking everyone up to this human on the chip thing. That and training. Well, cyber operations, cyber operations capability, they can sit there and hack anything. Uh, people, plants, animals, um, they see us naked walking around in the United States all the time. They look inside our homes. They're picking on people in Africa right now because they don't have no defense. And they supposedly deployed aerial platforms over Russia. They're supposed to be undetectable. They deployed them over Russia. They deployed them uh, just about everywhere's got a treaty deal, and some is not. Command told them to uh, stand down. Uh, what the hell's going on? I don't know if it's JSOC 1 through 4. Um, um, I know they talked about central, central command. They ultimately report to command and control. One joint operations, uh, army, cyber operations, and one joint multi-military, uh, which is Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, National Guard. Uh, well, they're using DARPA products, this team that's going around doing all this. All these bases ain't got this. So they're taking them over with all this stuff. So that's why no one ain't defending us. They supposedly done this to uh, some soldiers at military Marine Corps. They're saying some are resisting. Well, my purpose of my trip to Washington, D.C. is I got some papers that needs to go to the Pentagon because they're intercepting my messages. 
they're firing these frequencies and doing this stuff to make intercept my messages so they're not getting there they're killing my phone calls and they're killing all this stuff every time i try to call presidential correspondence they kill my phone call and they're using a military occupation specialty communication specialist and um and person in intelligence uh, signal intelligence and all these little tears that they brought into this team people from uh say a uh, private recruit there's a recruit girls whatever is in here and it's from uh 16 uh you know the um summer uh summer deployment programs and the military and they're in these clearances and in honor they've done there's an honors class and everything in school and uh, high school whatever and apparently they got to go back some of them still got to go to university some of them attend clemson uh tanya supposedly lives in malibu florida and um We're po uh, posing this all over across the globe, and they're sitting there. They can turn your uh, fire frequencies or whatever, like your left ears, to start ringing, tendonitis. This is the uh, supposedly what they call, i seen in a blog about a secret mind control program that leaked out in a FOIA request. It shows the full controls and everything. And this is going on uh, globally. Um, they killed uh, United Nations soldiers. I suppose when their head explode for directed energy. And they also have done some things. They're, uh, they remotely controlled some people in the White House. This team is out of control. So I'm, I'm, making, I'm taking a risk to go into Washington. They're trying to discredit me. And they're trying to do all these things and like saying, I, I've been repeating the same thing ever since I got back from California. Now, they're trying to get some things going with some ordeals that shouldn't be going on. They uh, fired and uh, frequencies and called a riot. A dude named Todd, a guy named Paul, does uh, he hinders the FBI investigations. Like, if I call FBI for them hacking into my card and killing it at the bank, they'll say, Paul will fix it. So, he sits there and hinders FBI investigations, and they use this technology to do it. And they also, uh, Lisa is on the uh, national security thing. They remote controlled their way in using this mind control technology. And uh, they're readmitting treaty deals with this technology as well. Trump is firing at the legal system. It's not the legal system. It's this team. Presidential correspondents told me to report this stuff directly to the president. Pentagon said per our conversation, I can't say anything else. I've called and notified everybody that should be, but they're deploying this technology and command said, that they report to if anyone finds out they're going underground. So underground they need to go. They talk like they're reporting the central. They're sitting there lying to all these new students they're bringing in. They're doing this test on us. Someone's paying the check. And they're going around doing this to people all over the globe. Electronic harassment and targeted individuals. Uh, see, they call it targeted individuals, but really, that's DARPA experiments, uh, involuntary human experimentations by military uh, weapons. Uh, fed the sim symptoms of what was going on with the populations and everything about the crime rates about everybody's behavior and gave the symptoms to military police and they said sir you have to let let local law enforcement know but i can't because every time i get around them they fire these frequencies at them and they can actually remotely control them make them pull up and pick me up and escort me somewhere they remotely control People at my church. I 
I can look at them and tell they ain't the same people. I travel across the United States doing all this. They've got me on loudspeaker where everybody can hear me. Like in the moment I say it, thanks to technology, my combat book. That I got from the military when I took my training. It says, thanks to technology, the enemy can hear exactly what you say in the moment you say it. Now, in the moment you think it, thanks to Human Intelligence Collector 31 Mike. Uh, Fort Hakachula. That's where they send them for training. And then they got deployments coming off Herbert Air Force Base. Where they're deploying air from there. I called Tom Davis at SOCOM, and Alan Miller was uh, an inspector general uh, at SOCOM Air Force Base. They've replaced him so many times to get away with these crimes. I was supposed to notify the appropriate authority. I notified the appropriate command as well. I wasn't expecting them to use these aerial platforms to go over and test them on our bases, but they did. They can remote control soldiers now. They have a little switch and all this stuff set up, set up to where they can remote control turn them on to where they become alert and they start fighting back. So the official story for everybody to talk about that don't know the details, all you can say is these uh, government programs are using FISA warrants. They reduce populations of people. If you walk around and see someone that's homeless, they're not homeless. They're in these little programs you ain't never heard of or you're never going to believe. They make them look that way, so that way. When they report their commands and notice it's over them, they can do whatever they want to with them. Because who's who cares about a homeless man? What do they say about him? Nothing but bad things, right? Bum, hobo, dirty looking, you know. They got all kinds of things, crazy. You know, they call them all kinds of things, discredit them. And then people that's being uh, chased by law enforcement. They're doing that as well. They affect our crime rate directly. As well as make people get hit by cars. Cyber operations, military. Make them walk right out in front of a car. Or make a car just keep going or driver's not paying attention or something. Or... You know, you can't go out in your yard try to crank up a lawnmower or something. Electromagnetic manipulations. There's nothing wrong with the equipment. You sit there and crank and crank and crank until your mind is turned and redirected and thought in a certain way. Then you pull that cord, it'll crank right up. No adjustments made. They can also make the grass grow. Like four inches within 15 minutes after you cut it. My left ear is ringing right now. You can look up on the uh, My Control program that is leaked out in a FOIA request. I've got documentation that's uh, from NSA. Um, but Some things, as far as up, some mail I got, I can't really talk about. But what I can talk about is what I got from public information. Tell you targeted individuals across the nation. They've uh, used this technology to remote control people around me from uh, getting employment. I get up, 
I've applied for jobs. There's nothing holding me back from it. They remote control people around me. I walk up to someone with a help sign. No one there. I need help. I come in three weeks. They said, within two days, we should know something by Friday. Two weeks later, nothing. They said, um, um, we're having a problem with the email account. Okay. At Clemson University, in a, uh, Aramark, some simple job like that, they deal with emails all the time. So, why is there a problem with the emails? If they deal with them all the time. I'm going to record when I walk in tomorrow. 